Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Chris and this is my second take because the phone rang and so it cut me off. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay, I'm outside. I'm all hot and sweaty because I was just picking the garden and I'll show you what I picked in a minute. Some of it's out on my stand. I jumped on the Pocket Shaw bandwagon. I This is Crystal from Bago Days pattern and if I did anything different, I would probably do this in single crochet or double it up because it's very breezy through the pocket. Personally, I'd like the pocket doubled up, but it's her pattern and I made it without the fringe. I haven't decided if I want to put some fringe on it or not. I'm still up in the air on that, but I used cookie yarn. Um, it doesn't have a name for the colorway, but it's very colorful, but it was, it was cookie and it's from a company overseas. Um, I, it was okay to work with, but don't make mistakes. There's definitely a halo to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it does not frog well. And my first chain is right there on that umbrella holding it down. I twisted it as I did the first one. And after I got so far down, I saw it and I wanted to go back and I could not pull it out. So that would be my only suggestion if you use that yarn, if you have it, it's beautiful and it works great. It took one whole cake plus a little bit of another one. Uh, I could make another one with the leftover if I made the pockets in a solid color, which I thought about doing. <clears throat> but I did like it. I don't know. I will have to wait and see how useful it is. Um, I'm all hot and sweaty because I was in the garden and I picked some squash and some tomatoes. And that's um, not all of it. Some of it I put out on the veggie stand. We have a stand out in the middle of the garden right at the edge of the road that we put excess on. So the neighbors, mostly college kids, but some uh, actual adult neighbors will come by and take some fruits and veggies off of it, which is nice because I don't want it to go to waste. My aunt will can the tomatoes for me and then I get the jarred tomatoes back, which is really nice. So I am working on a pattern now from the Crochet Magazine. I am making a swancho. This is the swancho. They call it a swancho because it's sweaterish in the fact that it has a cuff and a sleeve, but it's all poncho. And so I have one panel done. And I don't know if you can see it. So this is one panel and I like it because the pattern looks like the middle section looks like K's. And my name is Chris, so I like it. So it's gonna go like this. And then the, I'll make another panel and I'll seam it across the top. And then I'll put a cuff on the sleeve part down here. And I am using Flicka. Flicka yarn. It was the only thing I had enough yarn uh, to do. And this is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It's a number three weight from Lion Brand. And this colorway is confetti. And I believe this is discontinued because I bought nine skeins of it last year when it was on sale. I want to say for a dollar, a dollar bomb. So that's not bad if I make a swancho for nine dollars. That won't be bad at all. I, at first I was nervous that I wasn't going to have enough because I was thinking in my head I only had six skeins and I was like, okay, three for the front, three for the back, but I had nine, but it took, I'm making an extra large. It took three, four, it took four skeins to do this much. And so now I finished this yesterday. I have a little bit left. I'm not taking it off yet because I might need that to stitch it all together. And so I just kind of want to leave it there. So that's what I'm working on right now. The other pattern in here I really kind of wanted to do was actually a sweater. This pineapple poncho was kind of cute. But I did a pineapple thing not that long ago and I think I kind of got in on it. For a while there was another sweater in here 
two sweaters in here. This one, Seasons of Change cardigan, is one I really would like to make. Uh, I did not have enough yarn, so I will have to go out and actually buy yarn. Even though I have a ton of yarn, I do not have enough to make it. This um, Babylon sweater, I think is what it's called. is the other one I'd like to make. And that's out of a uh, cotton yarn. So that's my other one out of this magazine that I'd like to make. But this Swancho, very easy, easy repair to remember. Uh, to remember. <laughs> I watch TV on it. So you basically make your chain and you work this short length back and forth, back and forth, and you make it long. Is that sometimes you have a chain long chain and sometimes you chain into that chain well a couple times i would get three rows and then i'd be like oh crap i didn't i would have two long chains together instead of like i say the k because it looks like a k which is really i think why i like this because it had the letter k all throughout it so that's what i've been up to a lot of gardening hanging in there it looks like it might rain again today which would be nice because it's been so dry we did have rain this morning and we had rain a couple days ago. My grass actually needs to be mowed, which would be the second time in probably three months that I would mow it. It's been so dry. But every time it rains, I get more squash. And we love this crook and neck yellow squash. This one has bumps. This is more heritage. This is the way it was when I was growing up. And this says it's heirloom, but I don't know if it is because it doesn't have the bumps. But the crooked neck is what we like. It's a very nice, um, good flavored Swedish, not too sweet, but it has a nice flavor. It's not like zucchini where you have to put something on it to give it a flavor. So, but that's where I'm at. I just wanted to pop on and say hello. And this is where I'm doing. Oh, and thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank Judy at, hopefully I say it right, Witch Peace Craft. I commented on one of her videos, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago or so, and I won, yay! And I'm really excited because it was up to $10 on Etsy, and I've been wanting to get jean, um, pat, a couple of jeans patterns on Hooked on Crochet, and so I was able to get them. So thank you very much, Judy, for that. I appreciate it. And now that would be what I'll probably make after the Swancho because I want to get a couple of those in. And that is all I have. My light is blinking at me. And I don't want to get cut off again and have to start all over. So have a great day. Please leave a comment. I love to, uh, even if it's just an emoji, just to get some uh, feedback. And I will talk with you all later. Have a great day. Bye.